Well, hello. Thank you for clicking in. I'm having a really hard time trying not to totally crack up. Edgar is totally love bombing me. He just walked over moments ago and spread himself down on my lap and he's like holding on for dear life. He's got like one paw pressed up against the side of the table. <laughs> He's purring really, really loud. I don't even know. It would be great if the mic would pick it up. I think he's very sensitive. And I was sitting here before the show, and I'm thinking, oh, it's not my usual time. It feels weird. I wonder if anyone's going to be there. You know, it's like hostess anxiety when you, you're having a party, and you wonder if anyone's really going to show up, or what if no one shows up. I was kind of feeling like that, and he came over. So... Hi. Oh, there's new people here. Andy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Lizzie says, go Edgar. Yeah, he's really like, he's like my, uh, he's so sensitive. Like, I think he literally felt it. And he spread out across my lap, purring really loud. Oh, there's a hair. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be that kind of night. Okay. Hi, Bluebird. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so I want to say hi to the new people. Um, oh, and someone else just, oh, no, that was my link. Okay. So, um, hi, Andy. Hi, Maria. I think I recognize your name. Carolyn, you might be new unless you've uh, changed your name or shortened it. Um, nice to meet you, Andy. Thank you for commenting. Have you been lurking for a while? Um, or are you brand new? You know, I'm finally in the chat. Stella's here. Um, who else is new? I thought I saw somebody else, and now I can't find him. Sabrina, I know. Olive, I know. Lizzie, of course. Lizzie, friend of the channel. Carolyn. Maria. Right. And then, oh, Anne. That's it. Hi, Anne. I don't know if we know each other. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. Thank you for any comment you give tonight. I really appreciate it right now. I'm going to say... Even if you just put a hand in the chat or a little happy face or hard or whatever, um, all comments are appreciated this evening because it's not my usual time. So, oh, you were lurking last night. Oh, my God. Isn't that great? I know. It's such a weird thing. Yeah. I lurk. I lurk, too. Yeah. I'm lurking a lot, actually. <laughs> but on other channels. I mean, not on other channels. In other niches, right? The, the, uh, this, you know, this community, I'm, you know, we all know each other. And so we talk and we support each other and all that stuff. It's very fun, actually, to have colleagues. And, you know, uh, there's so many people here tonight that I see. I'm in the chat with them on other nights. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, he just lifted his paw. He's like stretching his paw against the table. I don't want to disturb him. I would show him to you, but he's just so, he just seems so happy right now. And he's doing his job. He's like, my job is to cheer you up, and I'm going to do it. That's, that's why I get paid the big bucks. That's why I'm highly compensated, because I cheer you up. <laughs> oh, another link. Oh, that means that the first one went out really late. Interesting. Okay. So let's get started. Um, thank you, everyone, again, for being here, especially all the people that have finally said hello after lurking for so long. See, it's not too scary. Um, so tonight's going to be short because it's really just what we didn't have time to get to last night. Um, so it's going to be short and sweet. And you could actually score. You could actually score big. You never know because it's like a little shorty one. So um, the algo won't be pushing it out the same way it normally does over time. You know, um, so you could get lucky. Um, we normally use buttons here. If you're new, we use PayPal buttons, and the way that it normally works is we would put the button in the chat, and if you win something, you just click the button, and then that's how you pay for it. And it's really, really smooth and seamless and wonderful. Um, and it also works even if you don't have a PayPal account, which is really nice. You know, it's just like any other link on your phone or on your computer. You know, it's a link. If it works, it works, and then you can click on it and, and go to it. You know, you don't have to be... You don't have to be signed in to anything special or anything like that. So that's a cool thing that we do here, but Carly's not here. So I can't be sending out the buttons. Normally she sends out the buttons. I can't do it unless I try and navigate to computers, which I'm not the, I'm not that technically um, advanced. So 
Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sending out the buttons to you after you win. If anybody wins anything tonight, I will send the buttons out to you. So text me. 917-809-7250 if you haven't already texted me and especially if you win something because then I can just text you the button but I won't be doing it tomorrow tomorrow I am visiting a friend who just lost her mother and I actually can't wait to see her and give her a hug so um, probably oh he's gone so probably and that's good too because I was really getting warm so Mm, I want to say, so definitely not tomorrow. I want to say like Monday afternoon, the latest. If I owe you a PayPal button or an invoice, you'll be getting it Monday afternoon, the latest. I'm shooting for Monday morning. It will probably be Monday morning. But if you don't get it in the morning, don't panic. It'll be coming a little bit later in the day. And then I'll ship everything out um, when it when the moment uh, the payment's processed. I'll ship it out right away. So um, let's see. Oh, one more thing. Okay, speaking of the text. So last night, so weird. Um, last night, I'll put, if you're watching in the replay, I'll put the link, the card up here to last night's auction. This is like night two, double header. Um, and you can just watch the beginning of it. So the first, like the first minute of the show, a whole bunch of new people texted me and my phone thought it was spam. Like, it was the weirdest thing. Like, I was getting, do you want to report this? You know, ding, 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 do you want to report this? And so I just listened to it. And then I checked it today, and I was like, you know, I don't think it was spam. I think it was just luck. I think that um, I'm not like a giant YouTuber that gets a million texts all the time. And so I think that my settings were like spam, like it must be spam. And it was just like pure coincidence that all these people spammed at the same minute. So if that was you, I know it wasn't spam and I'm sorry and it's fixed and it won't happen again. And the number to text me at, try it again, it'll work this time, 917-809-7250 or email. Email will work too, but I like, I, you know, texting. I mean, texting is great, we all love texting. Okay, so let's get started. So it's $5 bids. We're starting where we left off last night. Last night, the last thing that we did was the Lucite lace bracelet, and we're starting, we're going big again tonight. Um, oh, I'm telling you my three Yorkies. I'm telling my three Yorkies that they can't bug me when Dawn is on. <laughs> That's very sweet, Kelly. Oh, my God, Kelly, you're in the chat. That is so cool. Wowzer, that is awesome. So nice to see you there. Everybody, you all know Kelly. Um, okay. So, Azurite Sterling Silver Modernist Necklace. I started this at 325, and you'll all know why in a minute. Oh, it's so, this is one of a kind. It's, you will never see another one. It's mid-century sterling. It has uh, that kind of style of the uh, Bent Knudsen. See the... Uh, like the squiggles, you know, very Nordic looking almost. To me, it's not really a fish. Like it could be a number of things. It could reference like the the gods. Like I didn't know. I thought it was, my guess when I saw this originally was it's either Mexican or Scandinavian or Israel, right? Because this could also be like Nordic gods. It could be like Isis, you know, it could be like a bunch of different things. Um, but the star of this is, oh, 61 in the house. Wow. Hey, PJ. Oh, the signature. It says something that I, it says Israel for sure. And then I think I was never able to decipher the artist. It says Israel 925. And then, yeah, the artist is like, you can't, you can't read it. It's, um. It's in there, and it's like faintly imprinted, and there, there's the proper stamp for Israel 925. The star of the show is this, but you know what? I believe it's in its original, no, it's not in its original bag. This is the bag that it came in, whatever that means. So look, this is the star. That is Azur Malachite, and it's interesting because it's separated, um, you know, like in half. 
You know what I mean? It's such a unique way for the stone to be. It's not like modeled at all. I love this. I think it's amazing. It's practically a breastplate. I didn't weigh it. I should have weighed it. It's it's heavy. Well, just suffice to say it's heavy. Um, hmm. Let's open up this collar. And post a comment if you're new. What have you got to lose? I'd love to say hello. Post a comment. Put a hand in the chat. A little happy face, a little high. There it is. See, it's it's spectacular. I love the color dividing thing. And that's it's all like hand done. Like it's completely hand wrought. So definitely like seems like 325 is a high bid to start something at, but it's so um, unique and special and you know I mean how much would this be really if you saw it in a store it would be a lot it would be it, let's, well, let's just call it a lot yeah hands up if you are new look at the color okay I'm gonna take it off again and ooh, oh god he heated me up man the cat the cat strikes again Look at that. I love it. I love it. There it is on my hand. <laughs> Covering my hand. Here it is on the pillow. This is funny. Anybody that's ever got anything from the pillow. All right. Okay. So we'll pass on that. Not new. Oh, well, hi, T. Marie. Thanks for, thank you for popping in and saying hi. I really appreciate that tonight. It's really like, you know, it really kind of counts more than, than usual. So if you're a friend of the channel, hi, Janie. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. I'm, I'm passing on it. We're going to move on. Feels like show and tell, but I'm happy to keep it. I mean, all the things that are left, it's, oh my God, PJ. <laughs> wow, PJ. Okay. <laughs> so we have 325. Um, I am going to measure it slowly because <laughs> I always say I'm going to measure it fast. So I'm going to slowly measure it tonight. Um, yeah, yeah. I thank you very much. Starting bid is 325. Sure, okay. Um, I was just saying, like, oh, if nobody bids on anything, like, it's totally fine. Um, you know, I I love all my things. Okay, where did I put the moment, please? It's probably right under my nose. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, it's totally worth it. Yeah, no, I mean, there's no question about that. I mean, it, even at 325, it's probably flippable. Um, although I don't, I don't uh, sell things with that in mind usually. Okay, so um, five inches. Five inches, five inches from here to here. And then... The width of it is, this is so cool. This is so cool. She, um, uh, don't worry about her. She's fine. She just took, she just needed some time. She's, she's okay. She's, 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 she's lovely. She's just, she's got a lot going on. So, and she wanted, you know, she didn't think she was going to be working tonight. And I, you know, I can't blame her. Okay. So three and a half. I think it's probably more. I think it's a bit more than three and a half this way. I can't quite do it because of the, the don't. Oh, yeah, you need to see the side view. There is a side view. <laughs> see how it's constructed? Isn't that the coolest? Ugh, I love it. So, and that rock, it's a rock. Yeah, you would. You could rear it all the time. Yeah. All right. So top bid is oh pj you're helping you're awesome okay yeah, or either that or you're like okay call it done sold congratulations <laughs> now i'll just take a moment to put it away carefully normally i just hand things over to carly but she's not here tonight so and i'll write it down and you'll be getting your button for this um, if I owe anybody invoices or buttons, even from the other night, um, we'll be we'll be reconciling all of that on Monday. Tomorrow, I'm visiting my friend. I know you're helping. You're so sweet. That's PJ, and also you're good at it. I know because I know where you where you are in other places on 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 the YouTube. 
So three, two, five, PJ, put it in an envelope. Yes, you, I appreciate all the help. I really do, I really do. Love this format. It's so fun, Andy. It is super fun. It's, it's, you know, oh my God, I finished the video I was editing. It's coming out tomorrow and I just thought of it. I just had like that squirrel moment because I, I'm, you see my mug once a shop girl. So what I wanted to say, Andy, was this reminds me of being in my shop and being at the counter and people coming in and talking to each other and it becomes like a happening. And that was always, always my favorite moments in the store. So really great. So, you know, so it is, it's the most fun. This is the most fun part of my week. I love it so. Um, and there's this new trend now. People are saying funnest. I've noticed on YouTube, it must be like a memo went out that the algorithm was like, hey, say funnest. I, ugh. <laughs> it's the most, but it is the most fun part of my week. So next we have, what is up next? Oh, the faux bois. Okay, so this. This uh, I've had for like 20 years, I don't, maybe more, 20, 25 years. There's a left and a right. Starting bid on this is 150. And it's, um, it's, they're layered. So that, here I'm gonna show you. The back of the clip back has part of the design, which is very forward. This is 40s or 50s, okay? And it is faux bois. Hold on, I'll get it. Now I got it. Okay. So there it is. That's, and then see, so when it clips on the ear, this was, I mean, it's forward now. See how cool that is? And it's faux bois. And I have never been able to say with certainty. It's funny because, you know, I thought I would have by now. Um, what this is. I've always thought possible scap, um, scaparelli that is, you know. Um, other designers weren't really doing this until later on. Oh, it's, it's silver tone. It's, it's, I'm sure it's like rhodium plated, the snake. See, it's that typical silver tone color. Here's the back. It does have a texture in the back that is correct for scap but this is not something that I'm aware of that she did I mean it's possible that it is that um, you know I don't know every single hanging thing that every designer used sometimes there are things that I come across that I didn't know about um, but look it's already and cool even to this day and it's a three-piece perore it's the necklace the earrings I started this really low too no, you know what though? I feel like inside this bracelet, the other day, right when I was making the list, I tried to inspect it once again. And I feel like I saw something that could have been, I do, I really do. Oh my God, it's right there. Wait, I'm holding it at the right angle. <gasps> what does it say? I can't read it. Oh my God, this is infuriating. Ugh. Well, it doesn't say Kramer. And it doesn't say Scaparelli. So I don't know. Here it is. You see, there's writing in there. There's writing on this ridge on one side of it. <laughs> so, okay, PJ is in. PJ is in for 125. Um, worth it. I mean, yeah, I started it at 150. So if you want to offer 125, that's okay. <laughs> I wanted to go to someone who loves it. Look, here's the, uh, I mean, come on. It's so mid-century. <laughs> All right, so we are at 125 looking for one, <clears throat> excuse me. We are at 125 looking for 130. 125 is the bid to beat for the 1950s 
or 1940s. I, I see this. It's very 40s. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We'll call it 45 to 55. It's not wrong. That's not incorrect. So there it is. And I'm going to start counting it down. If anybody wants to get in, it is a three-piece per roar in perfect condition, by the way. No issues whatsoever. No fading. Um, safety hinge, you know, double eight on the on the um, the bracelet. Here's the necklace. If you find out what it is, will you tell me just for, you know, it's so funny because I help so many people with so much, so many of their things. And so few people like help me back. They're like, eh, she should know. <laughs> it's like impossible to know everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have one big button for you. All right, calling it. Sold. Congratulations. It's very, very nice. You will love it. Okay. I swear to you, you will love it. In my collection for 25 years. PJ125. Put that in the envelope. <laughs> I don't know where he went. That's going to be one really big button. Remember in um, Finding Nemo? That's a big boat. <laughs> That's a big butt. <laughs> it's a boat. It's a boat. Okay. Okay. Next we have uh, the Zircon. Okay. We have the little. Okay. So we're, we're doing the rings. The rings are all really fine jewelry. And I just didn't know where to start them. Um, so I just kind of made it up. And I was like, I'll start them all at 50. Like, it doesn't matter what they are. I'll start them all at 50, except for the ruby. The ruby I started at 45 because it's a little simpler than all the other ones. These are great. These all came out of one estate. Um, I got all the rings from that estate. So look, that is an Indian ruby and sterling and filigree. I started it at 45. This is vintage secondary market. It is... Um, beautiful. I'll show you the uh, pretty band ring. 45 genuine ruby. There's the filigree in the back. There's the, uh, the uh, hallmark. And the size. Hello, a voice. Hello, Madge. Is Madge? Yes. Hi. Kelly H. says 45. Looking for the ring sizer would be super important to find that. Here it is. Oh, thank goodness. So Kelly is at 45. Yeah, this one you find a think for. It's a seven. It's a perfect seven. Right there. I do love it. 45 is a steal for this. Kind of hoping someone else bids. It's a really good deal. <laughs> There's 73 people watching right now. If you're watching and you've never said anything in the chat, I challenge you to do it tonight because I could use the company and I could use a little bit of support. So just say hi or just wave. Okay. There it is. So pretty. We are at $45 for the sterling. This is genuine ruby. Genuine ruby from India. Uh, it's a pretty color. That's now, that's, I don't know if you can see it on the monitor, but it's actually the right color. It's that blood red. Pigeon, pigeon blood red is the proper term for it. I didn't make it up. That's what they call it. They've called it that for probably centuries. So there it is. Yep. And I'll put it on. There it is. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for saying hello. Thank you very much. Everybody say hi, Lisa. <laughs> There it is. All right, we are at 45 looking for 50 for the size 7 Indian Ruby Sterling Filigree Ring. I am one. Thank you so much. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you. So lovely to meet you. Julie is in for 50. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. That is so sweet. I asked you to say hi, and you're actually doing it. That's awesome. 
Um, so, uh, so Julie is at 50. Uh, and hi, Anne, why are you lurking? <laughs> you can lurk if you want to. You can lurk if you want to. <laughs> You, thanks, Becky. <laughs> oh, thank you, PJ. PJ's got it. All right. So top bid is Julie R at 50. Let me know. Kelly, I think it was Kelly. I'm sure it was Kelly. Let me double check. Yes. Let me know, Kelly, if you want to go. Abby something. What a cute name. Oh, I recognize you from the comments, Abby. I read all the comments, you know. I don't always. Well, I really pretty much, I, I do respond to them. Um, not everybody gets a, a big response, but I read every comment. I'm still the one reading every comment. Okay, Kelly's out. Sold to Julie. Congratulations, Julie. It's very pretty, and it counts as a score. This definitely counts as a score. So far, um, everything's been a score. I had a feeling this was going to happen tonight. Okay, Julie R50. Put it in the bag. And coming up next, we have the, all the rings, and they're all 50 now. The Iolite and Zircon, ooh la la. Ooh boy, ooh boy. These are fine jewelry rings. This is Zircon, it's not Zirconia. This is natural Zircon. And Iolite, fancy cut. This is a larger ring, uh, the size of it, see? Or I would have kept it. I would have kept this one because um, I get dibs, you know, when I buy, like, a bunch of things from one collection. Okay, so let's see. It is a size, it's an 8. It's a size 8. Look at this beautiful ring. That is fine jewelry. Sterling silver, you know, the setting, the gallery setting, the, it's a square halo. Zircon's beautiful, beautiful iolites, by the way. Look at them. Clear, deep, perfectly cut, like a lovely ring. I started at $50. Like, I shouldn't have to explain it. <laughs> oh, Colette, well, hello. Well, hello, Colette. Thank you so much for saying hello. Um, everyone say hi to Colette. <laughs> oh, Deborah knows. Deborah's in at 55. Thank you, Deborah. It is a size 8. I would say find a finger for it. Um, right now, the bid to beat is 55. This could have a 1 in front of it. This could have this could have a number in the front of it and in the back of it. I mean, it it is sterling. Here, let me spin it. It's so great. Let me get it on the, on the, um, Joan, hi, Joan, I, I, um, I got, I saw your comment and I haven't been able to, to PM you. I'm not sure I know who you are. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You text me first because <laughs> I can't figure it out. But yeah, I, I got this comment, like you need to PM me. And I'm like, okay. And then I can't, I don't know who you are. So, um, cause you're using a different name in the, um, in the community texts. Okay, Deborah is at 65. PJ's got this. There it is on the... I so want to hold it straight. Oh, I hope you don't see me starting like dripping sweat. Edgar really got me. He got me started and now I can't cool off. All right, I'm taking it off the thing. I'll put it on this finger. Purple Rain is at 70. It's beautiful Purple Rain. Oh my gosh, this would look so pretty um, with some earrings. <laughs> uh, that's Iolite. All right, Purple Rain is at 80. Yeah, they're really good. This is, they're, all of these are old stones. They're like not the kind that are like new, to, you know, it's different how stones change after over time and like the new norm. You know what I mean? Like rubies in the department stores now are um, totally different, totally different. Um, sapphires are totally, emeralds are totally different. Oh my God. 
Tanzanites, interestingly enough, have stayed like the deeper the better, and but they sell the lavender ones. I actually prefer the lavender ones. I don't know why it hasn't become a thing. Like I think it could be a whole thing where they're like lavender tanzanite. I think it's a prettier color than the deep deep. And tanzanite originally was to replace sapphire because you couldn't get Ceylon sapphires anymore. So purple rain is at ninety. Look at the eyelight. Clear, consistent, no windowing. Gorgeous. Oh, I, I'll show you the back. That's the construction. Okay. So we are at 90 looking, oops, to purple. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy that you're here. Keep watching, Andy. And I have loads and loads. I have a vast library of videos that I started years ago on um, what to look for, how to collect, how to wear, um, you, you know, just on the collections themselves, on designers, on how things are constructed, how to recognize them by their construction, you know, through a case. Um, uh, okay, so purple is at 100. Yeah, I would have kept it. I definitely would have kept it. It's it's uh, but it's it's like a weird size for me. Oh, let me here. Hello. <laughs> okay, Deborah's out. So it is purple. Was anybody else in PJ? Um, you're, you've been enrolled, PJ. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can. It looks like it was Deborah. It looks like it's been Deborah and Purple Rain for a while. Yeah, I never heard from Carolyn, but we'll say she's out. Okay, um, if you go out, let us know in the chat that you're out. So we, you know, and I'm going to call it. I'm going to start counting it down. And Purple Rain says, thank you, Deborah. Look how lovely it looks, how it reads kind of far away. So we are at, um, yep, Top It is Purple, still at 100. Oh, PJ, you're good at this. Um, <laughs> Carolyn's out. All right. All right, I'm just going to call it. Congratulations, Purple Rain. You will enjoy. You will enjoy this one. <laughs> yes, not for a while. Okay. Um, I'm not going to mention the L-A-G word because I don't want to jinx myself, but so far so good, right? Okay. Purple rain. Because you're over there, PJ, and I'm over here. And we're talking. <laughs> okay. That one's done. The next ring is the, the next ring on the list is the, oh, the sapphire. Okay, this, I've never seen another one like it. This is another one, weird, awkward size, which I guess is a good thing. Because, you know, you know, I have a problem. <laughs> Look at the design of this. This looks like high end, you know, it's like a chandelier for your finger. It looks like. It's sterling. It's real. This is sapphire. This is genuine natural sapphire, not lab. Natural sapphire, natural zircons. Look at the color. It's not totally opaque. It's midnight blue. It's midnight blue. It's set in sterling. And it's a weird size for me. <laughs> so, uh, the size is... Six, six and a half. Like maybe... You're on a mission. <laughs> Look how beautiful. The design of it is just amazing. Yeah, see, it's a little small for this. No, it actually fits that finger. Well, today it fits. The other day it didn't. I know. I know. It looks like you would find this in Van Cleef or something, you know. It's such a unique design, and, and that's a natural sapphire. Yeah. You're welcome, Purple Rain. Okay, yeah, no, see, it's a little hard to get off. Okay, there it is. 
Um, Julie is at 55. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it on. I'll take these off. <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> I'm wearing the same ring three times. I have. I don't have a problem. No, but this is exquisite. And the, the sapphire is exquisite. That's a, that's a blue sapphire like you can't buy now, especially in sterling. There it is on the finger. See, this is the finger it's supposed to fit, and it's just too big. That is amazing, amazing boutique, high-end, you know, like Cayman Island, Cayman Island style. Um, yep, Olive, I don't know. Olive, I think, yep, let us know, Olive. Thank you, PJ. You're awesome. You, they make you feel younger when you wear them. That's cool. I'm going to turn this one around now. This is the way I would wear it, oriented like this. Oh my God, I just, it's amazing. This is like so freaking high-end and gorgeous. Oh my gosh, is the top bid 65? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look at the halo. Look, those are zircons and blue, natural earth-grown blue sapphire. I'll show you the back. I just realized I never did that. Kelly is out. All right. Right now we're at 65. The next bid is 70. Carolyn is in at 70. That's the construction of the back, everyone. That's the sapphire from the back. Natural. Natural. Okay. All the way around. Julie is at 75. Oh, it's so, I know I'll never see another one like it. Oh, it is so beautiful. I know, you know, I mean, and then here, here is it like moving on the hand, like the way that the metal catches the light and, and look at the color of the sapphire. Carolyn is at 80. Oh, I never put it on the, there. I just want to get the sapphire. There it is. See, it's silky in there. Uh, that's natural, everyone. Natural. Let me get it on the um, on the loose side. Here it is, facing this way. Okay. I know. And here it is. The way that I like it. Julie is out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to start counting it down for Carol. Oh, Carolyn. Look at it from, see that blue? Look, you can really see it now. That's that sapphire. Okay. I'm going to start counting it down, everyone. So delicious. 10, 9, 8 going once. Right now we are at 90 for this. Huge. Natural blue sapphire and natural zircon sterling silver unique design one of a kind ring. We are at 90 looking for 95. Counting it down. 10, 9, 8. Carolyn has the bid to beat. 7, 6, 5. Going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. Now would be the time to bid. Four, three, two, one, and I don't know. I, I call it a chandelier. Like in my mind, it's like a chandelier for the finger. And all right, I've made her suffer. Carolyn sold. <laughs> Congratulations. <sighs> I don't know. Like pick which is the score of the evening. Like I, every time somebody wins something, I want to be like, this is it. They've all been good, like the giant azermalachite. All right, let me write my little thing. Yeah, I'm like a goldfish. This is the best one so far. No, they've all been just really, really good. Carolyn, do I have, have you texted me? Um, make sure, just, just shoot me a big text, a big, a quick text if you're in this country. 917-809-7250. Shoot me a quick text if I don't know who you are. Well, I can't tell who you are because you're Carolyn. <laughs> so, and there's others. <laughs> so shoot me a quick text. Let me know you were the one who got the ring and I'll send you the button um, on Monday.
most likely Monday morning. Could be Sunday evening. Let me write this down before I forget. Was it 90? Yes, it was 90. Thank you, PJ. All right. PJ's a smarty pants, everybody. Just so you know, if you didn't know already. Okay. Lapis, white topaz, not zircon, white topaz. There is a difference in the sparkle. And then the sunstone, I don't know. I, would you guys hate me? I mean, you know my style. You all know my style really well. If you've been here a while, it's so evident. Like my style is very, very, very clear. And I mean, would you hate me if I kept it? It's so me. Yeah. Yes, I do. I ship to New Zealand. Yes, I do. We do use insurance. Um, uh, I mean, once I get to know, you know, if I don't know you, we go by the books, you know, right away. And then, you know, if once we have a relationship, I can get very, very good at shipping to you. Let's just put it that way. Um, but in the very beginning, we do duties, we do insurance, we do all of that stuff. And we split the cost. Uh, well, yeah, you, you get what everybody else gets. Um, shipping is free um, to people in the United States that win over $45, right? So I take care of that. But I still ask for the insurance because if you're buying valuable jewelry, the insurance adds up and it's too much for me. So um, it could have been cashmere. It was natural. And it was like perfect, consistent. Yeah, it was mouthwatering. In person, it was like die to die um okay so i got one it's okay to keep <laughs> i got two it's okay I, okay i got three it's okay to keep oh thanks pj i think it's okay to keep it you guys know me right yeah oh but we could never hear you all right I'm going to keep it uh, well, well uh, for a while I, I i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy this one for a while I have earrings that match it from RLM. So, yeah, I, I keep this one for a while. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for understanding. Thanks, JC. JC, still haven't gotten your text. I'm waiting for your address or an email. Oh, maybe you might have emailed me and I didn't see it. Sometimes they get buried. It is me. Yes. Oh, good night, Lizzie. Thank you for staying up. So this is it. Jemmy Lapis. Look, little tiny, tiny gold flecks perfect blue but you see the difference this is not zircon this is white topaz in the halo setting this is a hefty ring this is solid this is a lot of sterling pretty heavy really super big construct like nice solid 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 construction um the zircons go all the way down it's a split band isn't that great so beautiful Oh, the cashmere. No, that's Ceylon. Cashmere is the darker one. Um, and they're almost, they're, they're almost completely opaque. If I, I mean, I might not be remembering correctly, but Ceylon is definitely the lighter one. Look, that is a really cool faceted lapis. Oh, those are one, those were made by Carl Ove Friedensburg. The, um, I'll just show it to you. The uh, this is what the hallmark looks like. It's a C O F. Oh, that's not a good. That's here. Let me get the other one. Some of them are easier. Um, <laughs> C O F in black letters. There you go. This one. If I can get it into the camera. These are not for sale. These are these are like my children, <laughs> Annalise. <laughs> but I understand why you would ask. There it is. That says C O F in a circle. So you could try searching. You could say C O F Sterling or something like that, and hope that you get lucky. There, you know, you got to do it every day for years, basically. Um, or know someone oh yeah so do we have any bits on this the uh the, the top bid on the lapis and white topaz halo no not the top bid the starting bid is 50 it's also 50 on all the rings yeah 
Thank you, Kelly. Oh, the village is here. It takes a village. Look at it up close. Isn't it pretty? And the, the, uh, the stones go down the band. Oh, I didn't give the size. I'll give the size. It's stunning. The lapis is what's so stunning. It's a really good lapis. Little tiny gold flecks that add sparkle, but it's the color. That's gem lapis. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Um, in the video that's coming out tomorrow that I the edited, the Thrift With Me video, you'll see lapis that I picked up that is not this color. You know, it's more, it's more the common kind. It's also beautiful. But um, the size on this one is a seven. This is a seven. Yeah, it fits this finger like a seven. I should have, I didn't really have to. It's a beautiful color and it's a beautiful cut. It's like an oval with like checkerboard faceting or diamond faceting. I guess it's a diamond cut. I don't know, checkerboard. I always thought of it as checkerboard. Yeah, Annalise says 55. Thank you, Annalise. It is beautiful. You will love it. Um, and look, here it is. Oh, there's there's how high it is. Oh, I'm going to put it on the... Um, <sighs> this is fun. I feel like I'm hanging out. Like, I actually really feel like more connected than usual with you guys. So I'm forgetting to do things like put it on the finger. Look, that's a really good way to see the color. It works. There's the back. Sizable. There is a sizing bar. And then they go, they go down. So pretty. And top bid, thank you, PJ. Annalise says 55. So the bid to beat is 55. Looking for 60. We go in $5 increments. There, oh, you can see a hallmark in there. There it is. Super chunky, thick, heavy. It's a steal. It's like a thrift store price right now. That's the way we like to start auctions. We do it with reasonable bids. All right. I'm going to start counting it down. If somebody wants to jump in, now would be the time. We're at 55. Next bid is 60. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's here it is far away. Farther, like, you know. And it's fine jewelry. All right. So 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. A score, a score. I wish I had a special sound effect for a super score. Fair warning. All in, all in, all done. Fair warning, fair warning. 4, 3, 2, Oh my God, sold. Congratulations, Annalise. You deserve it. Friend to the channel. Yay. Deborah, no, I have a salon. The darkest is the cashmere. The salons are brighter. Cashmere are the finest ones. I have researched it before. Oh my God. Well, thanks for letting me know, Anne. No. Congratulations. Enjoy. <laughs> Let me write this down. <laughs> We're just throwing fine gemstones out today. It's like, here you go. Somebody catch. I'm throwing it. You catch it. Um, Annalise. Yes, Annalise got it for um, 55. And thank you all for being here. I love you for being here. I mean, I'm, I'm being silly. I really am very grateful that you're here because I get to do this, you know, um, like, this is my job. This is what I get to do, and it's the best job in the world. Okay. Next we have... Oh, we're going so fast. So we, there's three things left. Oh, somebody bought something from the store. Oh, no, maybe somebody... Oh, that was... Yeah, that was Annalise. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Annalise. Um, okay. Three things left. Square amber... Oh, no, two things left. The square amber pendant which Julie, I think, is the thing, and um, the Michael Lafray team bangle. So the, the bangle, we're starting at 25. Google this, Google these, they're pretty cool. She started uh, like 100, yeah, like 100 years ago, the Art Deco period, maybe earlier. 
always the same kind of enamel thing. I'm starting this one at 25. I'm starting the square amber. I thought you were going to have to wrestle this one away from me. You know, I just feel that way sometimes, but I do end up like I eventually come to my senses and, and I sell. Oh, Annalise. Okay, we'll do that one first. Why not? Um, where'd it go? Here it is. So Annalise is in for 25. That's um, what the enameling looks like on the inside. Upside down. Classic Dawn. Always upside down. Oop. There it is. They're the ones that make the bracelets for Hermes now. Uh, they've been doing it a long time. There's the uh, signature. Ah, uh, thanks. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it for a while at least. You mean the sunstone, of course, right? Yeah, I already got. It's. It's off the list. <laughs> we moved on. We skipped right over it. All right. So this is at twenty five. It's great for stacking. It's great for mixing with the other bracelets that you can get from Hermes, etc. Um, you know, Kate Spade, even Coach, like they're all doing it now. Um, but this is a Deco one. It's very, very, very nice. Original Hallmark. All right, I'm just going to count it down. Oh, and Anne Mar, thank you very much. And new to the channel, thank you. Look at that. You said hello and you jumped in. <laughs> all right, so we are at 30. Next bid would be 35. There's the Hallmark right there. Thank you, PJ. And then after this, we have the amber. See, and that's it. And then it's a night. And then it's a wrap. Uh, I'll spin it. It's so great. Oh, I'll put it on. It's, uh, here it is on the pillow. You know, I like to do this because everyone's gotten things from the pillow. So your, your eye is adjusted to it. Carolyn is at 35. It's a nice one. The color combination is really good. It's got little dots of blue in there. Black, always black. They, they always have black. Um, great, right? And here is how far it goes up on my arm. This will fit most people. And you stack it. And you wear it with sapphire. If I had that sapphire ring, I'd be like, Boop, because it's got bits of blue. Or anything, really. Garnet, red across eye, sterling, gold, pearls, other enamel. I have an important, go back and watch my early, early video on Art Deco jewelry. Um, um, that is, that has sold, Stella. Sorry, it sold before the preview. It sold in the hall. Um, Oh, what I wanted to say is, oh, Carolyn's at 55. Thank you. So if you go back and you watch my early, um, you know, my my um, how to recognize Art Deco jewelry or whatever it was, I'll put it up here. I have an important three-piece set of the original Deco by Mechiela Fry, no team mark. And it's a three-piece set and it's three different sizes. So it's worn up the arm in that very like Deco way. And it's just black and silver. And that's it. It's so cool. Um, and it's the same kind of like flower, but like swirlier, you know, and is at 60. There it is. And we are at 60, looking for 65. Whew, so warm. Thank you, Edgar. All right, if you're out, let me know. We are, at, oh, Carolyn is at 65. Thank you, Carolyn. It's a beautiful thing. If I get it real close, you can see it without the, uh, the glare, but it's kind of like in your face. <laughs> There's no chips or anything. That's just the way the enameling looks on all of them. All right, Anne is out. So I'm going to call it for Carolyn. Thank you very much, Carolyn. Sold to you. And now we have the amber. Let me write this down. Okay. And don't forget to text. I know I keep saying that. But really, don't forget to text. <laughs> or email if you can't text. Like if you're in Canada and you can't text or something. Then you can email me, HudsonVintage at me.com. My info is always in the description box below every video. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay. 
Last one, last piece of the night. Oh my gosh, it's A25, what a quickie. Thank you, Carolyn. So see, look, see the hinge? <laughs> I'm doing that for a reason. Um, and then the way that the amber is, oh, you like the vid too? Oh yes, please, everyone click the thumb. Do the thumb thing. Do the thumb thing, please. Don't wait, just do it now. It means a lot to me, especially tonight. Okay, so there's the mark. It's just the 925, you know, which is typical of that designer. It did come from that collection. Um, oh, you missed the whole thing. Oh, Linda, you can watch it in the replay. Um, uh oh, I feel like I might sneeze. Look, look, it's very chunky. Oh, Julie. Yeah, Julie does homework. Oh, yeah. Look, there it is. It's a it's a very reasonable price at 100 everyone, too. There's the back of it. I'm going to put it on the, uh, I'll just hold it up in front of the pillow real fast so you can get size. Oh, hi, Sharon. Thank you so much for being here and saying hello and come back again. We'll be doing, oh, we'll be doing this again next Wednesday. And subscribe now because, and hit the notification bell because I finally did an edited video I'm so proud of. It was another thrift with me. And the first minute, I told a story. I told a story for one minute. <laughs> I'm loving the idea that I told a story. Um, it's a good first minute. There, look at it. It's like a chunky bar. See it from the side? All right. I know. Oh, PJ is at 105. Okay. All right. PJ is at 105. <laughs> I'm putting it on the torque now. This is, this is it. This is now everyone's going to be like, oh, that's, that's why she wanted it. It's amazingly, it's, it's a sculpture. It's arch, this person, if she wasn't an architect, what was she? Ta-da. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could put it on a chain, of course, or a link or an Omega. An Omega would be good because that's like a torque, but it's a little softer. You know, it's a little bit more uh, soft around the neck. So it would complement the, the, uh, the, the right angles very well. You know, this is all right angles. And the way, you know, the way it was cut, like, around this pattern, I, I do believe that this person thought about everything like that. All right, PJ is out. And she calls it, oh, look how awesome PJ is. I've never seen that before. PJ says out, and then she says top bid 140. Oh, PJ, you rock. All right, look, there's the back of it. Okay, I'm going to start counting it down. And then, and then that's it. Oh boy, look how beautiful this is. I know, I thought that. Oh, Anne, Anne's in for 150. Yeah. Julia's at 155. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Thank you for being here tonight for our little mini auction. Anne is power bidding. Anne is at 165. Does anyone know whether you can have amber jewelry polish? I think you can. I I um I'm pretty sure you can. This doesn't need it, but I know that, that I know that you I think that if you went to a jeweler cuz I have had lapis polished, you know, like the opaque, they can do it. Just make sure you go to someone who really knows what they're doing. I mean, if you think about it, this was polished. You know, when it's made the first time, it's polished, right? Whoever made this had to cut it and polish it. So if you can polish it when you make it, you can polish it to maintain it. Well, look, you can see the finger behind it. This is awesome. Julie is out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to start counting it down for Anne. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 200. Wow. Okay. Um. 10, 9, 8 going once, 7, 6, 
Oh, you have polished your own. Oh, yes. Linda's an artist. Yeah, there you go. 10, 9, 8 going once. <laughs> 7, 6, 5 going twice. 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. Congratulations. And and Mar. Wow. Way to come in. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. It is worth it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to write your name down. Make sure I have your info. And I'm sorry, Julie. And 200 is the top bid. Oh, um, okay. So if you're in the U.S., please text me now, 917-809-7250. And I will text you back a PayPal button and you can click it. You don't, even, you, you don't even need a PayPal account. You can click it. Just let me know where you are. Text me 917-809-7250 and let me know where you are. Um, and if you're not in the U.S., then email me. Okay. And if I don't hear from you, it'll go to second bidder. So no worries there. Um, I'm pretty sure you really want this though. <laughs> but that is how we do it here, you know. Um, the next show is Wednesday at 7. Tomorrow is tomorrow at 4. I finished editing the video today. It's another Come Thrift With Me. Yay. Thank you, Anne. Um, so I finished editing the video. It's coming out tomorrow at 4. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you haven't already. Even if you're subscribed, if you ring the bell so that it turns completely dark, it'll mean that you have all notifications on and you'll get notified tomorrow that this video came out like it'll publish it for and they'll notify all the people that hit notifications and then you can watch it and it's great i went thrifting at the yellow frame presbyterian church to their annual rummage sale and i got lost on the way and i thought i wasn't going to find anything and i just like cleared the table <laughs> So please watch it tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Watch the channel. If you're not going to subscribe or if you're subscribed but you don't feel like hitting the buttons, it's okay. I understand. Um, if you can, subscribe and hit the notification button just to watch that video tomorrow. I'm so proud of it. The first minute, like, I was really creative and cool. So thank you, everyone. Love you. Mm, I love you. All right. I'll see you tomorrow in the video and then back on Wednesday. Bye. <laughs> Oh, and there's a haul. There's a haul coming up, duh, from the things that I got in sale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I really like making them, Carolyn. I love making them. I love editing. It's very creative for me. Okay. Bye again. Bye. Bye for real. <laughs>